like a kind of eel. Sorry, Moire. Diesel, Diesel was telling me about Moire because he's lamenting my wearing of stripes. But stripes are not the point of the video today. The point of the video today is the Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2013. This is a Cherry MX Blue fully mechanical keyboard with evidently improved anti-ghosting and backlighting. So it's got a full green backlight. It has 10 key rollover, which a lot of people talk about, you know, how many keys the rollover does a keyboard have? Okay, I mean, I know N key rollover is cool. However, I would go as far as to say that unless you're playing two player games at your keyboard with two people, I mean, have you ever done that slick? He says he's done that, but okay, I would say that that's not that common. Um, unless you're playing two player games at your keyboard with two people with both hands on the keyboard, probably you can only press 10 keys at a time. So they have 10 key rollover, which means at the very least, although you can't type with your face, you can type with both hands completely at the same time. So there you go. Individually backlit keys, and they look quite bright in Razer's photographs and all that, so we're gonna make sure we test that. Oh, I love this. Okay, I've seen this before, and I can tell you right now that it makes a huge, huge difference to the brightness, the intensity of the backlight when they do this. You see that green backplate behind the keyboard? Number one is that should improve the, uh, how solid it feels. Does feel quite well constructed actually. Let's do the old flex test. So here I'm actually putting pretty much as much force as I can on it to get it to flex. Very well constructed. So you can see that, right? Can you see? Like it's not bending much. So that's good. Uh, and then what it also does is it gives the green LEDs behind each key something to reflect off of, which makes the lights much brighter and, and more vibrant. It looks really, really good. So I've, so I've seen this before on the uh, Quickfire TK from Cooler Master. So let's, okay, that's just packaging. Again, Razor, so good at packaging. All the insides, all matte black and cool. All right, so, oh, okay. Just slice that open. There we go. So braided cord. You can go ahead and check that out. Wow, really good, uh, really good non-slip pads on the bottom of the keyboard. It's not going anywhere once you put it down. I had a hard time moving it just now, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. You've also got audio pass-throughs as well as what appears to be a USB pass-through. Yep. So that's for the keyboard itself. It's labeled port. Okay. Then you've got your microphone and headphones, which plug in probably on the side, I would think. Yep, there you go. There's your pass-through, which is positioned correctly for, you know, I'd love to see someone come out with a mouse that has a short cord, like an Apple length cord, and that is designed to be plugged into a keyboard. Because so many gaming keyboards have these ports on them, but then you got a mouse that has an eight foot long cord on it because it's designed to go down to your PC. Razer, if you're watching this video, I want a short mouse cord. Okay, so uh, there we go. <laughs> Headphone, microphone port, uh, wrist rest. Symmetrical, even, I'd say it's not quite long enough for me personally, but if you don't rest your wrists on the keyboard, which you shouldn't, which is bad for you, then I guess it's gonna be just fine. You can hear that sound of the Cherry MX Blues. So these keyboards are not for people who are looking for silence uh, or households that are looking for silence. If you want that, then you're going to want blacks or browns. Uh, blues are quite, quite loud, but they have a really great feel for typing. And I get a lot of people asking me this. They kind of go, oh, well, Linus, you know, I, uh, I, you know, which keys are best for, for typing and which ones are best for gaming? Now, the argument could be made that keys like blacks or browns are better for gaming because they don't have that, that click, that discernible tactile feel as you're pushing it down. Personally, I like that for gaming. I like gaming on a very tactile keyboard. These particular keys have 50 grams of actuation force, so you can compare that to other keyboards, figure out if you like a heavier key or a lighter key, but I like knowing when I've pushed it down, and because they're designed to instantly respond back up, I don't find that the, that, the, that the tactile catch actually makes that much of a difference for me. On the bottom, like I said, we've got extremely good grips here, and these, I love this design of these as well. You see how there's a rubber grip on this side, and it goes all the way around to the other side? It's a rubber cap, which means that no matter how this keyboard is sitting on the table, so you can angle it up about like that, oops, I knocked it down, there you go, it's not going to move anywhere no matter what you do. So really, really good stuff. Programmable keys, which you can record on the fly. So on the fly macro recording is included. We've got also function keys here. So you can use function, mute, volume down, volume up, audio, uh, media controls, macros, 
game mode, which will turn your Windows key off, uh, LEDs down, LEDs up. No LED zones on this one. The whole keyboard lights up. Personally, I've never used an LED zone in my life, as well as a sleep button. Let's just see if I've missed anything while we go find a computer to plug this bad boy into. So fully programmable keys plus five additional... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Diesel's not really sure what to do. So hold on. Let us figure this out. So we found a computer, plugged it in. This is the coolest thing like ever. Uh, check this out. So function, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is it gone yet? Not 17, 18, 19. It has like, it has like between 15 and 20 or whatever it is, or at least 10 different brightnesses. You can hold it down and go all the way bright, all the way dark but it is extremely customizable in terms of how bright you want the Black Widow Ultimate 2013 to be. Here, we're going to go ahead and turn it back on. I just want to show you all the different backlit parts of the keyboard. So all the keys are backlit. All the little Razer logo at the bottom is backlit. And it should be noted, this is the only glossy part of this keyboard. Everything else is a gorgeous matte black that won't show fingerprints or Cheeto stains or whatever else is a problem for you at your particular keyboard. Check this out. So there's your macro record. There's your game mode. Even these lights up here are completely matte. So there's your number lock. See? Check that out. So cool. You can't even see it's there until you go ahead and press it. So I want to turn the lights off for a minute here and show you guys what it looks like when things get all romantic in the Tech Tip Studio. Extremely bright backlight, which, you know, again, Razer understands. Not everyone will necessarily like. So you can turn that bad boy down, you know, to like a just sort of a light glow, or you can turn it all the way down. So oh, now we can find out how many levels it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Looks like about 15. So, oh yeah, right, fully programmable keys plus gaming keys. Now, not everyone's going to agree with having only five gaming keys. Personally, I like it because whenever you ever have a huge like block of keys over here, you, there's no way you're using all of them anyway. You can only use a few. I wouldn't have minded having a few profiles for them, though, so you could have different, different sets of them. But remember, the Synapse 2.0 software has a lot of customization that you can do on a per-application basis as well. So I guess Razer's assuming you're going to use their, their software in order to configure your keyboard, so that's probably a pretty safe assumption, so I guess I take it back. But the rest of the keys are fully programmable. No cardinal sins have been committed in terms of the overall layout. Long shifts, long backspace, uh, correctly positioned controls, all of that good stuff. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2013. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.